many people have requested me to make a letterhead design so keeping the request in mind i have come up with this beautiful letterhead both in ms word and powerpoint as you can see here i have created this design in powerpoint you can add your company logo here the website details and at the bottom you can add the location the mobile or the email address and you can add the detailed text in between this one in the body so first i'm going to show you how to make this uh, letterhead design in powerpoint and then i'm going to show you how to convert or how to copy the letterhead design from powerpoint to word so let's start first in powerpoint add a new slide and change the slide size to a4 for that go to design slide size select custom slide size and from the drop down list select a4 and here the orientation select landscape and click ok and it asks you two options maximize or the ensure fit or whichever you feel better let me just take the maximize fit and then i want to add the guides here to add the guides go to view slide master right mouse click and just say add vertical and horizontal so first let me add the vertical you can see here that guide has been added and i want to put this one as a margin here and then right mouse click i can just say add vertical so it added one more and then i'm just going to add it here you can see here and i want to add one more i'll say horizontal and this horizontal i'll put it here on top and add one more horizontal and i'm just going to drag this down here you can see here okay so now you can see here i've added the guides to vertical and to horizontal and then i'm just going to close the master view click this one and you can see here uh, the guides has been added and then i'm going to view and i'm just unselecting or deselecting the guides you can see at the moment i deselect everything is gone so you have to keep it uh, open and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the horizontal shape sorry the rectangle and draw the rectangle according to your size maybe i'm going to add this much shape outline make it no outline and give any color of your choice let me change this color i'm just going to select some dark blue and then i want to add one more shape here for that go to insert shapes select the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here and again give the same color shape outline make it no outline and i want to change the direction of this for that i can simply select flip vertical you can see here and make sure that this is properly aligned this is properly aligned not a problem and then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to reduce the size you can see here and i'm going to give a different color or any color of your choice you can add it here you can see here let me just bring this some more near let me reduce the size a little bit more hold the alt key you can reduce the size and then i'm going to add one more the right triangle select the right triangle and give the same color shape outline make it no outline and then i want to just add it here so just rotate and i'm going to say flip horizontal you can see here and again zoom in and make sure that this is properly aligned you can see here let me just reduce the size a little bit more for this and this also and i will just add it something like this here make sure that this is properly aligned otherwise it won't look good and then i'm going to add one more shape go to shapes and either you can select the right triangle or the this normal triangle any triangle for let me just select this uh, triangle draw the shape maybe this much size and i'm going to give the same color 
but I'm going to give a darker shade for that right mouse click go to format shape and I'm going to select fill select more color and just increase the shade you can see here it becomes more darker and shape outline make it no outline and then I'm just going to rotate it you can see here exactly like this let me just make some more transparency so that I know it is coming perfectly aligned and then I'm just going to align it reduce the size and you can see this orange point just drag it to the end the corner so you can see here this looks perfect let me just send this to back so you can see here our the the header part is ready so we need to add the footer part now to add the footer let me just select this particular rectangle press ctrl d to duplicate it bring it bottom reduce the width and increase the size you can see here I'm just going to increase the size a little bit this is enough and then I'm just going to select this shape ctrl D again reducing the size you can see here again height also I'm just going to reduce it a little bit I will increase it and then I'm going to use the right uh, triangle or just a minute let me just go here insert shape select the right triangle draw the right triangle and give some darker color maybe i'll give black and shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to rotate it and then you can see here just align it properly now let me just uh, fit to the slide and you can see here almost our uh, design is ready I'm just going to add uh, some more icons like uh, location, telephone number, email address. For that, go to insert shapes, select the rounded corner rectangle and then I'm going to give the same color which is the dark color and shape outline, make it no outline. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now before that one, let me just add the icons. For that, go to insert icons. If you don't have Office 365, then I have provided the uh, one tutorial on the icons. More than 500 icons are there. You can just uh, get it from my YouTube channel. So let me just select some. Uh, maybe I'll just go to communication. I'm just going to select this particular email. And then I'm just going to technology. I will select the mobile phone. And from the location, I'm going to select this uh, gps okay just click insert and you can see here these three icons has been in, uh, added i'm just going to reduce the size to 0.3 inches so you can see it's very small you can see here and then i'm going to select this let me just zoom it i'm just going to add it here on top of it and graphic fill i'm going to make it white and then i'm just going to reduce the size of the rectangle you can see here this is very small and press ctrl d to duplicate it again one more and then add these icons on top of it bring to front and graphic fill white and align it in the center and this also i'll just say bring to front you can see here just drag this and then give as the white and then i'm just going to select one by one and press ctrl g to group it you can see here sorry ctrl g no yes so one more ctrl g and then i'm just going down and i'm going to add one here one at this place and another at this place you can see here if you feel that the space is not enough then i can just simply reduce the size and bring this here also if you feel that one so just make sure that this is properly aligned so then you can add the description for each of these icons
for that go to insert text box and I'll just say add details you can see here I'll just reduce the font size maybe 10.5 and choose any font of your choice and I'm going to give the color which is this one reduce the size and add it here press ctrl D to duplicate add one more here you can see here if it is not fitting you can just take uh, you can wrap the text also let me just do ctrl D and just add the text here so you can see here the detail text has been added here on the top you can add your logo so add your logo here i'm just going to add the text i'll just say add logo or whatever you say logo here or whatever i'm just going to give the font as impact and i'm going to give some loose spacing there increase the size and put it here and change the color to white you can see here and here also you can add your website details and then it's time to add some detailed text here you can just add your headline i'm going to give the font color which is the same color or you can give black also let me change the font to open sans make it bold and just add it here and then i'm going to add detailed text for that go to insert text box i'm just saying equals lorem within brackets three so it will give me some latin text so i don't need to type the text and then just put it here and this again open sans if you want you can reduce the size and justify it you can see here and below you can add any footer uh, anything here which you can add it so you can see here our design is almost ready in powerpoint now let's see how can i take this to a word ms word document so uh, the first thing before you uh, copy this to a word file i'm just going to select this the header part you can see here and press ctrl g to group it and then i'm going to select the footer part again for this also i'm just saying ctrl g to group it now i'm just going to select this ctrl c open the word file the first thing you have to go to layout size you select as a4 orientation portrait only margins i'm going to select the narrow margins and I'm just right mouse click and click on keep source formatting and you can see here uh, this has been not fully fitting so I have, we have to just change a little bit for that let me just go to position I'm going to go to more uh, layout options and here alignment just you can select the top or the center whichever let it be top and here the absolute position i'm going to the right of the page i'm going to select and click ok you can see here and then i'm just going to increase the size of this you can see here i'm just increasing the size so our the first footer has been added so let me just go to the word file the powerpoint file i'm just going to select let me just go yes I'm just going to select this press ctrl C and come to the word file right mouse click and again say keep source formatting you can see here and sometimes when I drag it it will not come it will not fit for that again I'll select this go to position more layout options and here again instead of column I'm going to say page and alignment I'm going to say at the bottom and click OK and then just increase the size you can see here the header and footer has been added in the word file and now it's simple for me to just go and add the text so i can just simply select this text ctrl c or you can just go and word also you can just paste it or you can just type in your 
word itself so you can see here the uh, we have added this particular letterhead in both word and powerpoint That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.